Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are a time of worship and celebration. It's a beautiful day. It's a little chilly outside, but it's nice inside and it's nice and warm. This morning, you may notice our little stand with a cell phone on it again, back where we started. And of course, uh, Reverend Tracy did announce last week we did have a uh, theft. People must have came into the building and uh, stole three laptops. One not so good, but one of them was the office one we used for PowerPoint, and the other one we used for live streaming of uh, our worship services. And we're in the process now of evaluating steps forward. More night we have a meeting of our vestry, local leadership, and so we'll uh, make steps ahead. Uh, you may notice uh, also uh, some of the stuff is not coming out of the office, probably emails and things like that, like it usually is. We kind of share it computer in the general office, working from Fort Bay at times in their office, at Partnership Parish, and sometimes a little bit from home, and a lot from cell phone. And so from the parish, literally on a cell phone. Just a few reminders uh, our Advent appeal, a little bottle is in the back if you wish to use that. I believe there's an envelope for a bakeless bake sale. Years ago, we used to have quite an affair at Dave's sale up on Confederation Hill, but for many reasons that did not work, and so some people suggest that we just have an angle for a donation. And next Sunday, we're going to have a, a mini bake sale in the cafe after worship, so we look forward to that. In outreach, uh, we're certainly promoting our uh, blessing bags, and those are here around the community, and as well as in uh, in Tour Bay this year. And also, you know, the Christmas time for appeal. We're expecting well over 400 families and individuals this year seeking help during that time. And just a quick look ahead, our memorial uh, tree service, uh, tree members is coming up on the uh, 11th at uh, 7 o'clock, at Sunday night, and the notice is out, you need the uh, memorials back if you wish to do so. Uh, green, time to the green service is on the 18th at 10.30. A lot of people are showing interest in doing particular parts of that. It's just advanced notice on Christmas Eve. So we have 4.30 service this year, and we'll be in Tour Bay for the 7 o'clock. I don't know if anybody wants to come up a little closer for a little chat. Is there anybody here?
Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by, watching. But the leader scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who was who were hanged there kept deriding him, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, Surely I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of Christ. God, we give you thanks this morning for your many blessings to us. For you bring us together. You remember each of us and know us by name. The secrets of our heart is in your heart as well. Be with us now as we look into your word, that you may speak to us, that we may proclaim your good news to this world. In your son's name we pray, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Jesus, remember me. Those were words spoken by a thief on a cross. We all know what it's like to be remembered. We all know what it's like to be forgotten. Think of the time when you were remembered and how it made you feel. It could be a simple phone call, a little note or heard. These days it could be a text or a little messenger, a little message, it could be a gift or maybe even a simple word. It might come to you by surprise or it was just something, something you were, you were hoping for and you weren't disappointed. Again, it could be a simple smile, maybe just a little wink. Somebody called me by name. Calling us by name or calling somebody else by name is a very special thing. And no matter how it comes, to be remembered gives us a sense of uh, joy, life. It sort of lifts us and, and heals us inside. And we're whole, at least for that moment. All of us want to be remembered. All of us want to be recognized. All of us want to belong, to exist, to know that our life matters. Now compare that to a time when you were forgotten. A person speaking to you cannot remember you. They don't even know your name. Somebody forgot your birthday, a special day, anniversary, anniversary of death of a loved one, or some doctor visit that you've had. Maybe you were overlooked in school or work or organization. All the hard work that you'd done was not noticed. You were forgotten, ignored. Maybe in a relationship, never noticed. Your needs are ignored. And all the effort you put into building that relationship is not seen. And it's all forgotten. And that person moves through you to something or somebody else. Again, regardless of how it comes, it leaves us feeling brokenhearted, hurt, and sad. In the Gospel today, we see a thief hanging on a cross, and he wants to be remembered. You see, his life is a bit of a mess. He stole for others for a living. He wasn't liked, 
or expected, more than likely. Maybe for a few people around him, but more than likely family and community saw him as something else. And now it's all coming to a horrible end, a horrible death on a cross. And he feared his whole life came to nothing. All was lost. Nobody would want to recognize or remember him. And he says, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus says, today you will be with me in paradise. Now paradise can mean many different things, and all of us have got a different vision. But it can also mean a world where people are noticed, where people are included, remembered. Personally, knowing that even though people around us in the world won't remember us, knowing that God does always remember us. The good that we do receives each and every word and action. Of course, also recognizes the things that are not so good in us, the things we should not do, but accepts us nonetheless. As a loving parent, God forgives us and loves us and he wants us to use that experience to become better people, <coughs> better followers of Christ the Son. Like the thief, even if our life is a bit of a mess, God still knows us, he still remembers, never ignores us, and never forgets us. This translates into a life in our community as well for each of us, amongst our family, friends, work, school, and even our church. Knowing we are remembered, we must in turn remember other people. Remember the joy of having a child on that day when that same child is driving us around the bin. Remember why we fell in love with that other person, a spouse, or partner on a day when things are extremely difficult. Remember the poor among us who many suffer in silence and go unnoticed and not remembered by family, friends, or community around. Remember a friend as they have an appointment of some kind or some nervous thing that they got to deal with and face or an anniversary of a, of a death of a loved one. Remember the newcomer in your neighborhood or community and what they had to give up and what they're now facing, the challenge in a whole new way of life, culture, and maybe even language as well. Remember the old as they have to adjust to a world that's changing so. And the other side of that, remember the young, because the world is changing so, and there are so many challenges and difficulties that we need to remember the young as well. Remember Jesus and all that you do, knowing that every time you remember a person, every time you speak or act with mercy, forgiveness, or speak a kind word of encouragement, giving without ever expecting something in return, you help create the kingdom of heaven, you help to create <coughs> paradise on this earth, the same paradise that Jesus speaks about in the gospel reading this morning. This earth, paradise, a place where everybody is remembered, loved, and forgiven, where nobody is ever forgotten. That is the kingdom of heaven. And that is what Jesus wants for us here and now, our own life and time, that we may help create, recreate paradise where nobody is remembered. Jesus says, today will be with me in paradise. Dear God, as you see each of us in our own lives, you, you do not ignore or forget us ever. We are always remembered amongst the saints of heaven. Amongst the angels, you proclaim us as your children. In turn, as your faithful followers, may we remember and notice those around us, family, friends, and community. And may we never ignore or forget the love that you have for your fellow servants and for us. In your son's name we pray, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Let us now confess the faith of our baptism as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will 
come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Receive all we ask you this day, and lead us in those good works for which you have created us. Yes, yes this is the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of heaven and earth. We give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, who exalted him as Lord of all creation, that he might present to you an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and light, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. Therefore, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, as heaven and earth proclaim the glory of your name.
hundred and seventy.